My name is Chinmay Tripathi. I'm Senior Director of Cloud Engineering and Site Liability Engineering here at McGraw Hill. Uh, my job is to, to keep our product reliable, safe, and secure for all our learners and educators who use these products. When you have thousands of EC2 instances running in the cloud, managed by over hundreds of you know, engineering teams, um, you will have a situation where you have multiple Amazon machine images uh, in your cloud. Amazon machine images, or we call it AMIs, are essentially templates to launch EC2 instances in the AWS environment. And if you do not keep up to date with your you know, security patching cadence, um, you are going to have introduced more security holes in your organization. We needed to come up with a better solution. The entire process was very labor intensive and, and cumbersome. We needed uh, a standardized AMI build process, which was uh, scalable, which was fully automated from you know, end to end with great user experience and, and highly reliable. My name is Michael Bordash. I'm a principal cloud architect with Rackspace Technology, working in Elastic Engineering. With McGraw-Hill, they were already very advanced. They had a lot of automation, a lot of pipelines, a lot of great cloud-native capabilities that they were leveraging, uh, but there's always room for improvements. And there was a solution proposed by the Rackspace Elastic Engineering team to use EC2 Image Builder, which was a cloud-native solution. Uh, earlier, we were using all sort of different third-party softwares, all of this was brought inside Amazon using EC2 Image Builder or AWS Step Functions. Um, they, they used SQS to decouple the, the AMI pipeline architecture, uh, use retry mechanism, so that if one component fails, your entire pipeline doesn't fail altogether. So that increases the, the resiliency. Creating a new AMI pipeline used to take two to six months in the past for us. And now with the Rackspace Elastic Engineering team, it's a, it's a matter of you know, probably two weeks and we have a new pipeline created. I think our success with McGraw-Hill has really been trying to understand what their needs were, really working with them very, very closely. So we're always looking for ways to not only deliver the service of Rackspace Elastic Engineering, but also help them learn along the way and improve their organization as we were able to transform a lot of the existing processes that they had in place. The benefit of the new process in, in AMI pipeline are, are manifold. We have improved our uh, security controls and compliance with the encryption of the AMIs. We have given better user experience to our security engineers. We have reduced the toil uh, tremendously from anywhere from one to two days just to approve an AMI to a matter of minutes from security standpoint. We have made the entire pipeline very resilient with using a decoupled architecture. Pipeline never fails, if I can say so, which is a big win for us. Rackspace Elastic Engineering is all about customers first and helping them succeed in the cloud. We meet with the Rackspace Elastic Engineering team multiple times in a week uh, for different purposes. Uh, could be a particular project status update, uh, how are we doing, what are the new uh, ideas on the table, you know, what the solution looks like. Uh, we also meet with the Rackspace Elastic Engineering team uh, about the overall status, about you know, the different engagements they might have with different teams inside McGraw Hill. We like to think of ourselves as kind of the eyes and the ears of our customers operating within the cloud. So we're always looking for opportunities to improve. If you're looking for a partner who shows ownership like you do and cares about your applications and your customers, look no further than Rackspace Elastic Engineering team. They will partner with you. They will provide solutions in a proactive way, uh, bring new fresh ideas on the table, uh, provide holistic solution that not only works, but safe and secure and cost effective.